so hit the squiggly settings button on the lower left hand side yep okay so now you don't want to do rides so turn off uber x so now if you did want to do both that would help you hit your quest bonuses faster okay now hit the three line menu button on the right hand side and this is where you're gonna go offline um, see driving time is going to tell you how long you've been driving it'll t kick you off at 12 hours upcoming promotions tap that let's see what happens I doubt anything's gonna be there because you're brand new okay so if you did 60 deliveries now this is what I meant on the last screen say you were doing rides and eats or say you're an uber driver and you don't like doing uber eats but if you turned both on you would hit that 60 trips faster or vice versa all right so hit the back button in the upper left hand corner and then um swipe it down to go back home swipe from the top down from the top down just swipe the whole thing down okay in the upper left hand corner where it's got that one that means you got a message and there's other notifications there you can check your inbox if you want to and the plus card is going to be like you could buy groceries or what hit that button in the upper left hand corner again hit So then this shield is just, you can have somebody follow you and location sharing, or if you have an emergency. Uh, the search bar, search button in the upper right hand corner. So now if you type in home, add, you can add this later. We'll just tap it for now so you can show, and you can type in your home address and set destination. And then when you, when you hit this search, button your home address will be here on the list of places and you hit that and it'll start navigating and it'll give you in your case uber eats deliveries it'll be from here to Layton and then south all the way to bountiful and you can work your way home in that direction in theory if there's tons of drivers it'll work better if there's not a lot of delivery drivers out there it may not work so well and sometimes you just want to turn it off and run home but if and when you get to the point that you want to do rides and doing uber passengers that will help you get home and you will give you only rides and deliveries in the direction of home or whatever you have in destination go online and see what happens another thing i like to recommend is making sure that you have wi-fi off hit the button in the upper left hand corner this one yep now tap on your face now this is where you can see your um, star rating your acceptance rates and your cancellations um, some people like to follow these and keep them very well it, you have to remember it is a suggestion but if you do this if you keep acceptance rates high and cancellation rates low then you will qualify for being a diamond star uber person and you'll get this and that and you'll be able to call customer service at midnight to me that's the most valuable um, you can cut in line at the airport um, get back in front of the line at the airport after a short delivery there's a few benefits there's supposedly a lot of things and advantages to being a diamond driver but so it starts out at blue and then you'll go silver and then you go diamond and it all mostly has to do of course star ratings but mostly keeping acceptance rates high and canceling low and you can build a profile here talk about yourself and give information to passengers and customers all right, so we got our first delivery. Go ahead and tap it. It says oh, it's tap. Yep, yep. Go ahead. So we're going to Arby's on Washington Boulevard. Okay. okay. All right. And you'll um, just navigate to. Okay, so they're gonna do it for me. Can we take this away? Yep. Okay. Just tap on that, and then. Okay. So this is a broad view of the map of the city and where you are, but if you tap nice. that blue. If you tap that blue navigate button in the bottom right hand, then it'll be... Google Maps. 
it'll be closer to the street view that way. So tap that navigate button. Tap it. Yep, there you go. Good. Okay. You're good to go. Tap, now that we're navigating to the restaurant, I'll show you something real quick. Tap on this black area where the address, yep, tap on it. See this? Now if you want to turn off your volume, you can do it there, but these are street by street, turn by turn directions to give you an idea of where you're going. Tap on the map at the bottom, the screen, the map, yep, yep, just tap on that and that should go away or swipe it up or, or, or see the arrow in the upper left hand corner? There you go. Okay. Okay, so Arby's on the right. Okay, so because we're wanting to stop and, and do this, hit the three lines on the right-hand side, the menu, yes, hit that. Now hit Stop New Requests. Okay, good, now swipe it back down to your, or to, from the top down, okay. All right, however you did that, that's great. Okay, so now you're not, what's going to happen is you've arrived to either pick up the passenger or pick up the order at Arby's and you can see all this information here and this kind of thing and you're going to scroll this up. That's very important. New people always miss this. They start like this and they see this and they don't know what to do. Scroll this up when you get in the restaurant. But the point that I was making is that you've gone here and you hit stop request because once you pick up the passenger or the order and you get going it will give you another one another restaurant to go to or another passenger to pick up immediately while you're delivering that passenger or delivering so that you order could stay active. so you will stay active and you will it will just stack one after another on top of you especially right now during dinner time and you will just be ping after ping after ping and you before you even finish delivering so if you want to go home or you need to stop because you need to do something or whatever that's how you go offline so that you're not getting any more orders all right let's go inside and see what happens uber eats order for douglas and then sometimes some restaurants will ask for that 23740 number. A lot of restaurants don't. And so that was good because it was in and out. We showed up, we gave them the name and the order and they had it and you were in and out really fast. Okay, so now that you're ready to start the directions to the drop off, tap the check mark for Douglas. Okay, how was the delivery? We were in and out really fast and ready. So that's a thumbs up. If some um, see these three dots, tap that just for fun, just to, so we can show you the thing. See, and and you could double check the order there. See in the right where you can message the order, uh, message the customer. I mean, and you could, and then you could voice tap and say like, "Hey, I'm stuck in traffic," just so you know. Or some people like to say things like. I'm going to, would you like me to grab any extra forks or something like that? And then, and this is like working on tips and this kind of a thing, depending on the region and area that you are in. Ogden, Utah, forget it. When you're in Highland and Sugar House, you might schmooze those rich people a little bit better and communicate better through here and that might help with tips. Okay, now if you have an emergency, you have that red caution triangle. Now swipe the delivery, start delivery. Okay, now it's notif. Now if there was a reason that you had to cancel or Make stop a left turn the on Washington order, if you did have to cancel the order, you would go here and then tap the three buttons on Douglas's name and you could hit report, report an, an issue. issue and then you can cancel the ride. So as you're navigating to the drop off, if you tap this squiggly line, it gives a broad, big back view, overview of the city and your basic route. And, and it can give you an idea of where the Make destination right finally is Street. in. And now new people may not know that Douglas was alerted when notified when you hit swipe start ride he's notified that you are on your way and he's actually watching your car on the uber app because he's like hungry man so he's staring at it and watching your car so if you stop and go do something right now there goes your tip <laughs> very important tip on Uber, your first 500 deliveries or rides are important because Uber's five-star rating system is an average of 500 deliveries and rides. So this is very hard. 
compared to lift out of an average of 100 out of compared to lifts 100 rides you could bounce back very quickly on lift but uber an average of 500 is tough so in the beginning uber is tough to maintain your five stars especially in a ghetto rough neighborhood like ogden utah another good point you don't want to be pulling in people's driveways it can be considered rude unless you have to in a in a nicer neighborhood with a long driveway obviously you have to but in short driveways like this it could be considered rude and plus you got a quicker escape if you just pull over and dash all right successful delivery you have this option to tell the customer you're at the door but we, he already knows that so hit close it may ask you to take a picture swipe it up so the member to do that now sit deliver it with you could do thumbs up if you want because that went smoothly if you want hit thumbs up now swipe delivered and it may ask for a photo okay good okay so that went well sometimes it'll say take a picture and you'll you left it on the porch and you'll have it you should always have your phone with you walking everywhere which can be tough but you would take a picture of it sitting on his front porch or that kind of a thing and that is one complete uber eats delivery